Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to dockerize your node applications for both development and production using best practices like builder pattern and multi-state builds. I'll start by going over to my VS code. As you might have noticed, I've initialized a very basic node application using express. Let's try to run this. So I'm going to go to the terminal and do yarn start. I'm using nodemon for local development and I'm also using ESBuild to bundle our project. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. And clear the terminal. So to dockerize this for development, let's start by creating our Docker file. So I'm gonna do touch docker file. For development, we'll use node 14 and pine image as node 14 is the current LTS at the time of this recording. So from node 14 alpine as development i'll also define my node env so env node env development let's add a work directory so work directory i'm gonna use app here let's also copy our package json and our yarn log file so copy yarn.log, install our dependencies, and bring in our source code. Expose the port. So I'm going to use 4000 here. And finally, add a command. So cmd yarn start. Perfect. If you're new to Docker with Node, this might look strange. So basically we are just copying our package JSON and yarn log files and then doing the dependence installs so that Docker can cache those. Moving on, I'll also create a Docker ignore file. So dot docker ignore. Here I'll just add our node modules and our build folder. Now let's add our Docker compose dev file. So docker compose dev yaml in this file we will basically define our services and tell docker how to run them i'll start by defining a version so version 3.8 services let's say app container name app dev image app dev some build information so build target development i'll also define volumes so that when we change our code changes are reflected in the container so volumes and i'll just mount our source folder so source with app source let's also define our ports the ports so from my host machine, bind 4000 with 4000. I think we are done with our dev setup. Let's run this. I'll clear my terminal, docker compose, use our docker compose dev file, and just say up. Let's wait for it. So our build is finished and our container is up. Let's check it out. I'll go to localhost 4000. So local host 4000. And we can see our hello docker message. I'll go back to the VS code and we'll see how to do it for production as well. Let's go back. I'm going to close this. Clear the terminal. Let's go back to our docker file. Here we will be using the builder pattern. It's basically splitting our build into several steps so we can build our code separately and then ship the binary in a separate image. So for our builder, I'm going to start by defining a similar boilerplate as a development. So I'm going to type it out. Our builder definition looks quite similar to our development but we are doing everything in production mode in the builder so finally let's complete it by doing yarn build 
Since we are building our code now, we can define our production definition and copy the built assets to our production image. So let's start by doing from node 14 alpine as production. This is the cool part. So I'm going to do copy, but this time from our builder and copy our build folder. I'll also expose port 80. So expose 80. And finally, we can run our production bundle. Node app.js. If you're wondering where I got this app.js value from, we are defining it in our scripts. So this is our out file build app.js. Moving on, I'll also create my Docker compose file for production. So docker compose.prod.yaml. This would be quite similar to our Docker compose dev, and I'll quickly type this out. Let's quickly compare this to our Docker compose dev file. So unlike our dev configuration, we are not mounting any volumes and we are not also binding any ports because we won't be using Docker Compose to run this. Personally, I do not recommend using Docker Compose to run your application in production. It's recommended to use a container orchestrator like Kubernetes. Great. I'll close this and let's build up production mail. So I'll do Docker Compose, Docker Compose prod file and give it a command of build. Perfect. Let's see our production image in action. So I'll use Docker run, bind port 80 with port 4000. Give it a name of node app. And this would be our app prod image. Great, our survey started. We can use something like Insomnia or Postman to test our endpoint. So HTTP, localhost and we are using port 80. Perfect, we got a response. Let's stop this, clear the terminal. So this was our production setup. Lastly, I'll add some comments to the Docker file and commit the files to this repo. So this is gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.